The San Francisco 49ers have advanced to this year's Super Bowl. They trailed 17 to nothing on the road to the Atlanta Falcons in a hostile environment and were able to get their act together. Come all the way back. They trailed 24 to 14 at halftime. And they took the ball at the second half kickoff, drove down the field to tighten the game. And from then on in, it really was a 49ers dominant performance. They could have scored more points if not for a missed field goal by David Akers and a fumble at the one-yard line by Crabtree. They went up and down the field methodically on the back of Frank Gore especially. And I think one of the turning points in this game was early in the game when the Niners were down 17 to nothing. Frank Gore was on the sideline in the ear of the coaches yelling. Usually that sounds like a selfish player wanting the ball, but in this case he saw what was happening. The defense was wearing out on the 49ers side, and they were losing complete control of the clock. They didn't have any possession time whatsoever, and Gore knew he was the answer. If he could run the ball, keep the Atlanta offense off the field, they could even the game out, and that's exactly what happened. On all the um, read options, Kaepernick was covered by the Falcons, so he gave the ball to Gore, and he chewed up that defense. Eventually, the Falcons had to bring in those safeties and tighten up the D. And what happened? Vernon Davis, for the first time in the Kaepernick era, was running free. He was catching balls downfield left and right, wide open. And even Randy Moss made a healthy contribution to this game, as did Crabtree for the Niners. But you can't say enough about Colin Kaepernick, who in his second year is essentially a rookie, taking his team all the way to the Super Bowl. you got to give props to head coach John Harbaugh, who made a gutsy call, benching the veteran who was injured and pl was playing well before the injury. It remains to be seen what's going to happen to Alex Smith, what team he's going to play for next year. He certainly is starting quarterback. However, Kaepernick has taken the city of San Francisco by storm, it appears. Joe Montana, echoes of Steve Young, the glory days seem to be back in San Francisco. And they probably will be favored in the Super Bowl. Why do I say that? If you look at the teams in the AFC, teams like the Patriots were beaten by the 49ers. They were beaten by teams like the Cardinals. You've got the Ravens, who are going to play for that spot in the Super Bowl, were beaten by teams like the Eagles. They lost to the um, Washington Redskins, who were playing a backup quarterback in that game. I really see the NFC as championship game almost as the Super Bowl like it used to be before the AFC started dominating. But in the last few years, you look at the Giants, how they've handled the Patriots in the Super Bowl. The um, 49ers are sitting in the catbird seat to add another Super Bowl to their illustrious history. However, you got to play the game on the field, and the Patriots or the Ravens will have an answer. And an interesting storyline going into the Super Bowl will come to fruition if the Ravens were to overcome the Patriots' home field advantage today. Because you would have a sibling rivalry for the first time ever in the Super Bowl. Jim Harbaugh and John Harbaugh would play each other. Halfway through this season, I thought it was more likely that you would see the Manning brothers go up against each other in the Super Bowl. And as an Eagles fan, i got to tell you, John Harbaugh has impressed me. He started out as the Eagles special teams coach. He was kind of the head coach of the special teams. He got moved into like a defensive back position coach where he never really had the reins on the defense because Jim Johnson was so great. And by the time the great Jim Johnson passed away, um, Harbaugh had already moved on to the Ravens. So rarely do you see someone who's not a coordinator or a head coach in college become a head coach. And I question the move when the Ravens did it. But what a choice. The Harbaugh brothers are dominating the game of football. So congratulations to the San Francisco 49ers, to Colin Kaepernick, who was unbelievable this season and in this game. 49ers, Super Bowl bound.